Hi everyone, Zachary from Team Adrim, and today we're discussing something that challenges teams across the globe. Scope creep. You know that little gremlin that balloons a straightforward project into a never-ending nightmare? Yeah, that one. So what is scope creep anyway? Well, it's when new features and changes sneak their way into a project without proper authorization. And then your team is drowning in all this extra work. But don't worry, I'm going to give you some quick tips on how we can combat this together. My number one tip is to define the scope early and from the start. That way nobody's pulling their hair out midway into the project. So I recommend creating a project playbook that clearly defines what's in and what's out. And you can kind of think of it as a team agreement that everyone knows what's being delivered at every stage of the project. So here's what I recommend putting in yours. Some of these are gonna seem kind of obvious and pointless, but not doing one can derail your entire project. I recommend starting with the project overview. Write a paragraph about what your team is trying to achieve out of the whole thing. Who are the stakeholders? What does success look like? Next, we have roles and responsibilities. Take the time to list everyone's name out and what they're accountable for to help a gate confusion. I've been in teams before that lack this kind of structure and things are getting done twice or not at all. Next, we have scope. What's included in the project? And I recommend being extremely specific here so there's no room for interpretation later. List everything out in bullet points. What's included? What's not included? And finally, develop a detailed project timeline of when all tasks, milestones, and deadlines need to be met to help us navigate through all the chaos that comes with a big project. Number two, review changes together as a team. So we all know changes are inevitable, but it's how we handle them that makes all the difference. So the next time an agency client or somebody on your team comes to you with a change, don't just nod and say yes and let the Scope Creek Gremlin run rampant. I am so sorry about that. He, he is crazy. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, first we acknowledge the request and then we come together as a team and analyze its effect on the time and the budget and then we present a new plan. That way everyone's on the same page and the project keeps running smoothly. It's important that everybody's aware of the changes at every step of the process. My third tip is to set realistic milestones and stick to them. You know, it's so important that we break these large projects down into bite-sized manageable chunks because it gives us clear points to review progress with our team and with our stakeholders. Because it's so easy to just go in and change the due date on something, I know we're all guilty of it. But if we keep doing that, we'll find that our three week project has become three months and then we're overrun with scope creep. But let me show you how Adoram can help with this. We help over 51,000 teams worldwide ship their best work and of course, defeat scope creep. What makes Adoram so powerful is the centralized feedback and approval system. When somebody leaves feedback on a live website, it is all collected and stored in one centralized location. This reduces miscommunication and ensures everyone is aligned on project objectives. And then we have project stages, a feature that's especially useful at defeating so creep because it clearly defines at what stage a project is in so the team knows what needs to get done before we move forward. You can set clear milestones and deadlines ensuring each stage of a project is tackled in sequence. And what's really cool is when someone leaves feedback on a design project, it's automatically assigned to the relevant stage, giving your team clear visibility of where a project stands and what's next. So if a request comes in after a stage has already been completed, it can be flagged as potential scope creep, allowing you and your team to address it proactively, which is one of the things I love about project stages. It allows everyone to maintain a tight grip on the project. So the number one thing I want you to take away from this video is to just have structure within your team because without it, everything crumbles. Thanks for hanging with us today. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. And if you'd like to get started with Adoram, you can do so for free at adoram.io or you can book a call with one of our experts.